SongArk works with any song on your phone, but it needs a sheet to play. You can download sheets created by others or create your own. This video shows you how, using Jonathan's sunglasses and Advil. Once you get to the song, press record your own sheet and you get to the editor. Now press record and press the notes as you feel them. Press edit to pause. When recording notes, think of song arc as an instrument. For example, it is a good practice to have the higher notes to the right and the lower notes to the left. It is important to make sure that the notes you create are accurate. The sheet creator has a built-in test feature where you can play the notes you have recorded as if you were playing the sheet in the game itself. Press the back button to bring up the sheet creator menu, then press restart and then play. It feels good. This first little melody is repeated a few times at the beginning of the song. With a real instrument, such as a piano, to play the same phrase again, you have to press the same keys. This consistency is crucial if you want your sheet to feel like a real instrument. We can use the clone feature to achieve this feeling. First we have to select the region we want to clone. After going back to the beginning of the song with Restart, press the Selection Start button on the top left. Now play the song and after the melody has finished, quickly press the Selection End key. You can see the selected range in the bottom left corner. Now that we have the range selected, it is time to clone it. Go back to the beginning of the song and press play. We have to press the clone button exactly when the first note of the repeated melody happens. You need a good sense of rhythm and an intimate knowledge of the song you are working with to create a great sheet. In addition to cloning, the selected notes can also be moved or deleted completely. You can also clear the selection, which means that no range will be selected, but the notes you have in your sheet will not be affected. Now I will add the drums. You can add drums in play or record mode, just be careful of the timing. I will play the song normally and simply press the add drum button when a drum beat should happen. I just stopped the recording with the back key on the phone. To navigate within the song, you have to press one of the volume buttons and press and hold on the rewind or forward button. I know this is not ideal, but unfortunately Microsoft doesn't allow a third party app to control the position of a song played from the music library. We have to use the built-in features for this. Let's rewind a bit. To pause the song from either play or record mode, press the edit button or the back button on the phone. Here I have a drum and a note at about the same time. This is not what I intended, so I have to delete the note. To delete the note, tap on it and move it to the trash. This note is not so easy to grab since it overlaps with the drum. We will have to move the drum away a little bit, delete the note and move the drum back. We will make this easier in a later version of Songark. Let's test our sheet so far. Feels pretty good. 
As with any program, it is a good practice to save your work from time to time. You can do this with the save command in the menu. Let's move on to part 2. This is a more difficult section, so we just want to get the rhythm right first. I will only press the add note button in sync with the music and worry about the pitch later. I will rewind and find the notes I've just recorded. Now I move the individual notes by hand so that the notes with higher pitches are to the right. This red note should be longer, so I press down on it, hold it, and then it turns into a swipe and I can change the endpoints of the swipe as I want. I'm moving these notes now. The numbers at the bottom of the arc are very useful, so that you can have similar notes for similar melodies. I also need to add another note which was missed. Move it in time and then move it in pitch. Let's get these guys in place as well. The numbers help again. This one should be on the 1 and this on the 3. The section we have just worked on repeats two more times. So once again I have to find the beginning of the section. Press the start selection button and press the end selection at the end. Now rewind a bit, press play and press the clone button when the section repeats. Now. And now. Notes within the selected range are displayed in white. The second part of the song is finished now. Let's give it a try from the beginning before we move on to the last part. The last part feels like a double swipe, but it's a good idea to save things first. I will use recording to record a swipe and then duplicate it in the editor. Once again, it's a good idea to test how the recording feels. Let's find the last part again and duplicate this swipe in the editor. Stop it right here. I can press the add note button and another note gets added, move it to minus 4. And as I move it in time you can see that it snaps to the swipe's beginning. I press and hold on the note and it creates a swipe. And I can move the end points of the swipe like that and the end points also snap in time to the other end point of the original swipe. I can also change the pitch of these swipes like that. Snap it in time and move on. 
this is the last part of the swipe and I have to extend it all the way to the end of the song. At this point the sheet is pretty much done. I would have to go back, play it a few more times and correct any mistakes though. After that it is time to give our sheet a description. Now we can quit the editor. Songark has detected that the sheet is pretty much done and offered me to upload it to the server. I select not now so that I can show you that you can upload your sheet at any time on the song screen. If you are satisfied with your sheet, upload it. After it has been uploaded, the upload button disappears and the sheet's rating is shown. From this point on, any other member of the Songar community can play with your sheet and rate it. Who knows? Maybe your creation ends up in the top played or top rated sheet list, or it gets recommended by Songark for the ultimate fame.